Hello friends and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and I'm coming at you today with a quick video on what to do if the lithium battery on the inside of your security camera system, NVR or DVR, uh, goes bad. These batteries will last a couple of years, two or three years, uh, and they pretty much hit their lifespan. And when they die, it's problematic because when your security system recorder uh, reboots or if you have a intermittent power outage, and, and the recorder you know, starts back up when the power comes back on, the timestamp on your video isn't going to match um, real time time. And that's problematic if you have an incident uh, and you have to research it by date and time, or even worse, if you need to burn video for the local authorities or your insurance company, if the time date stamp does not match you know, the actual video time, you're gonna have a problem with that. So replacing these batteries is relatively simple. Uh, it's a five minute process. Again, you're going to know because every time your recorder reboots, um, you're going to have to reset your timestamp. Also on most models, the digital overlay, the OSD overlay on the pictures that has the name of the camera, like parking lot um, or swimming pool, uh, those will also be reset and they'll say camera one or camera two. Uh, but most people notice it by the time first. It's simple to fix this. We're going to cover it right now. let's get into the meat and potatoes before we do you know the drill there is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen please click that also like the content if it's useful to you and as always leave comments most of these videos are based off of subscriber feedback or comments it's a great source of uh, content and we appreciate that so with that said let's get into it all right so this is a standard hick vision recorder uh, they look the same and are set up the same, whether they are a DVR or an NVR. Um, this one, like I said, is a 16 channel uh, DVR, but you will find three screws, Phillips head screws on each side. Um, you'll have to take those out with a Phillips head screwdriver. On the back, there are four screws, two on each side um, and two on the top. Once you remove those Phillips head screws, you will be able to take and remove the cover um, off of the recorder. Okay. Once you do that, um, you will expose the, um, the board, uh, the brains of your machine. And in here, you will see your hard drive. Okay, you wanna make sure that that's hooked up, obviously. A lot of people don't know, there's also a second bay. These four screws here are for a second hard drive. There's also wires for those. Um, but the more storage you add in the recorder, the more days of continuous footage you're gonna have. Um, so if yours only came with one, uh, you can put a second one in. They also come in different size, one terabyte, two terabyte, three terabyte, four terabyte, you know, all the way up to eight terabyte. But that's what a hard drive looks like. But what you're looking for today is your battery, right? I have to go the long way around everything. This round silver guy right here is your battery. That's a lithium battery um, that we're talking about. So what you'll have to do is look at that. When you look at it, you will see a number. ICCR2025, okay? And when you go to your local Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart, um, that's what you'll be looking for on the package. See that? C0, uh, C2025, okay? That is the battery um, for this model, 2025. It may not be for yours. Every unit is going to be different, okay? Um, whether it's Hickvision, Dawa, uh, Denali, Bosch, Honeywell, whoever you have for a recorder, um, you're going to have to take it out, look at the number, go to the store and get that number, okay, for it to work. They come in packages of two, it's like seven bucks, uh, but it's good maintenance on your machine, right? You don't want to wait till your time stamps off to replace these. Um, it's an easy fix. You do want to make sure it's unplugged, obviously, and shut off uh, before you mess with the board. Once you're done with that, you can put the cover back on, tighten everything back up, and you'll be good to go for another few years. Hopefully the video was useful. We'll see you in the field.